everybody, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, another glide going to Texas. We love you, Texas. We actually have a customer here. This is Juan. Juan's gonna be fishing this bad boy in Lower Texas around the hole, the graveyard area. I know all you Texans know that area. He's actually got one of those still houses down there. It's a pretty nice area, by the way. Uh, I love it down there. Um, let's talk about this boat. Moving forward, we have a custom color going on on the hole and top. This is included. You got the black rub rail. He's a very simple, minimalist guy. And I like this approach on this build because this build is unique again for the glide. The glide can be built in many ways. Here's another awesome example. He has a flush line, center line cleat going right there. He has a hybrid stiffy pole right here. But here's where everything starts to change is we actually have a built-in gas tank as far as the portable being built in into the hatch. This actually comes out and there's another one. So if he's making long runs away from his camp, he has a 12 gallon range. But if he's gonna stay close to home or close to the camp, all he has to do is take a six. But here's the cool thing. You cannot put a portable tank in an enclosed space. So when you come further back, it's kind of the best of the both worlds. We actually have a bulkhead here but the bulkhead has cutouts like the traditional glide setup with the buckets going to the floor. But this also gives the proper ventilation that he needs. He also has drain holes right there. So this is a really cool setup. Again, it's another first. So he has 12 portable gallons there. He can still go rods forward, still have rods going backwards. Proper ventilation, okay? Then we have a grab rail set up here. He has a frigid, rigid fiberglass cooler. These are really nice. Has his uh, paperwork in there, his aftermarket prop. This will be a jump seat for that third person, or when he wants to carry extra stuff, or he just simply takes it out because, again, he's a minimalist. He loves to pole and sight fish. Uh, he has the same belief as all of us here. Then underneath, he has his uh, battery and stuff mounted on the external, bolted through. His switch underneath the deck under the overhang. He still has the overhang here, so he can put all his gear underneath, his life jacket stuff. And then he still has all this storage. <laughs> So this is a really, really cool setup. And then again, he has the Suzuki 20 horse. He has the, um, the spider style. This is what we call it now on the glide. We call it the spider just because of the way it sits aggressive. But the hoop is actually bigger and it's taller in case he decides later to add a jack plate, repower it or whatever, because he's going to have this boat for a long time. But I love this setup. It's simple. It's clean. It's minimalistic. You know, there's just so many things about the glide, 17 feet by 60 inches. His speeds, by the way, are gonna be 26 to 28 miles an hour. We already have reports of guys running four blades down in Texas, and their speeds are about 26 to 26 and a half with gear. That's pretty amazing with a 20 horse uh, power, plus with this setup. Juan. Thank you, brother. Beautiful boat. If you, guys you guys. Are, if you guys are down in lower Texas and you see this thing going by, wait till he gets off the water. Approach him, check it out. Pictures and video don't do it justice. I know I say that all the time like a broken record, but if you're on the fence, you owe it to yourself to check us out. Celebrating 10 years. Y'all take care. See ya.